Hi everyone, it's Suzanne here. Thanks for joining me today for another Fabricate Friday episode. Today I have a little box that I made that I use the envelope punch board with. Cute, hey? Opens like that. I decided to put it um, this way just for a little bit of fun, but it doesn't mean that you couldn't do something like that. Like or you can decorate the back of it. So I decided to be different. And I think you could put, I don't know, goodies and candies and that sort of thing in tiny little boxes. I was actually thinking tea bags too would actually probably fit nicely in here as well. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. Um, I used for the sentiment, the Chalk Talk for you and I don't actually have a punch that <laughs> punches the, that out very nicely. So I had to fussy cut a circle. Can you imagine that? Ugh. <laughs> All right, here's my envelope punch board and my little piece of card stock that I require is five and a half by five and a half. Today in the demo, I'm using Tangelo Twist. So I'm using the two inch mark and I, you can't see it because my light is so bright and I actually have like a one of those little umbrellas and it's so not helping. Anyway, just punch and score at two, move it along an inch to three, punch and score, and then turn, and then just follow the um, score line with your little, um, I don't know what the heck that's called, the little sticky out part. And um, if you wanted the alternative, just to make sure things were straight, it's two and a half and three and a half on this side. And once more. I haven't done an envelope punch board box in a while so I figured this one would be kind of cute to do. All right I don't need any more. Bring out my bone folder and I'm just going to burnish, fold and burnish those crease lines. So at this point you're going to um, try to decide where you want the box to open because it really doesn't matter if you want to say use the top you know have the, this top be open or this top be open um, it's up to you and I am taking I am wedging just on that inner it's easier if I go this way And I will do the same with this one, with the top portion here. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit of glue I'm waiting for my fast fuse to come in. Oops. So I'm going to take those edges. Oops. Tombow doesn't take too long to dry, but do give it a bit of a press. And then what I did before was I grabbed a D block and I just butted it up against the edge. So that's just a, a just something square really. And went to that edge and then shuffled it over a little bit. And went to that edge. And it's just because I want it to be sort of straight and then 
and it's not straight really. But hang on. I have wiggle room time. There we go. D block. D block fits excellently in here. I did not, I came upon that by accident. So a little bit of pressing. So I suppose if you wanted to give somebody a D block, it might, <laughs> it might work. All right. So with this, I just have to sort of figure out where I want to cut. I'm cutting about an inch, three quarters of an inch off. I'm trying to be straight about it. Whoops. Because that way it sets in quite nicely, yeah? Pretty quick box. All right, so um, I am using the confetti celebration. That's what I used in the example as well. Um, so, and it gives us, gives me about, let's see, the DSP is two inches by two and three quarters. I don't have to use Tombow, but I will. Because it's right there. So I'm covering that. I just don't like the look of, you know, the envelope part. So I'm playing around with that, trying to hide it a touch. I'll be honest, it's nice using the Tombow because you can move stuff around a little bit. Doesn't it takes a minute to set? All right, so I've done another box similar to this and I use the small oval punch and this time I'm using the, I think this is just the large oval. Oh. So it gives it a nice finished look. And then this is the for you, which you can't see because my light is so bright, but trust me, it says something. And I'm just putting adhesive on the half, half side of that so it doesn't stick. That is so cute. So that's the project for today. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next Friday. Bye.